Jessica, we haven't done this for a while. What are you doing? I am working on setting up this order right now. It's for Holland Racing. It's just a team decal. Um, they had ordered previously a decal that was black and white, and then this one's going on a black vehicle, so I have to swap the colors. So it's a pretty simple order. But yeah, we haven't done this in a while. <laughs> Update on my life. Today we are here out at uh, a Union College to do an install for Skyview Academy. Um, what I'm doing is this bus behind me. The biggest issue is when you're on this side of the bus, it's nice and shaded, so the temperature of the what you're putting it on, you know, it's it's a totally different temperature than when you're on the other side facing the sun. Um, usually, I mean, the nice thing when you're installing in the winter time is in the winter time I can take a my torch or my heat gun, warm up my surface to what I need it to be, to be for the most part. Uh, in the summertime, not so much. <laughs> you, you get to deal with it being so hot that I almost don't even want to touch it. But I got to put decals on it, so we'll see how it goes. All right, just got done with the bus. Um, turned out really good. Um, you can definitely tell when you're dealing with the heat, just kind of the element of you're, you're getting tired, hard to do. Um, otherwise, I mean, installation on a bus is pretty easy because there's a lot of straight lines to go off of. Plus you can cut each letter out, so you're really dealing with small sections at a time. Everything cut today for shipping and orders that are due later on today for local orders and orders that ship out tomorrow. Reading some decals for Durst. Looks like you got a new machine. I haven't even got to play with it yet. I don't even know how to turn it on yet. Oh, I'm sure it's pretty easy, but I haven't got a chance to get to it. So. That's probably on tomorrow's agenda. Just give it a name yet? No, I'm not naming them. I'm told not to name them. Why is that? Because they break. <laughs> I am opening files, so then I can just cut that color. like. There's black and multiple orders, then I can just cut all that black and then go on to the next one instead of cutting each individual order. So cuts down on time, but just getting ready to cut a bunch of orders to ship out tomorrow. All right, we're out here at uh, Massport Incorporated. I'm here to reface the sign. As you can see behind me, there's a sign. Um, the nice thing about refacing is that you can make a new sign or an old sign look new again. Um, Massport, however, has a uh, change their sign to make it look with their new logo.
one side on. One thing you're gonna notice, whenever you're doing uh, covers like this, and you don't remove the vinyl that's behind it, you still can kind of see the faint, you know, kind of resemblance that something, something was there before. Um, but like these guys said, you're far enough out the street, you aren't gonna really notice. Um, I mean, it's gonna give it a nice clean look anyways. So, but yeah, otherwise this went on pretty smooth. One thing you always gotta keep in mind when you're doing big, large installs like this, it was with the wind. As you can see, I put a lot of tape up just to kind of hold it steady so I didn't lose it to the wind. That always, I mean, wind can bite you, I mean, regardless of what you do. Um, but yeah, so I mean, otherwise this side turned out real good. Uh, gonna get the other side on and get going. Where are you going? Bye-bye. This is Race Matt track. Grop here. Race track time. So how'd the sign turn out, Matt? Looks great. Harris decals does it again. So that's it? That's it. <laughs> Top notch. Josh Harris, everybody at Harris decals, you're the best.